Hello everybody, Foster Obesity here. We're back with Crash. This is gonna be the backtracking video where I have to backtrack through all the, the uh, through all the levels to get the gems because I'm trying to do that trick. There we go. I was able to accidentally do a speed running trick because I had an Aku, but like I had no idea what to do, so I was just sort of mashing. Oh god. Okay. Okay, so that what I was bouncing on, and then I had to go left. That would have been so much easier to know, so now I can actually just do the rest of the level. What the fuck? I can hit it all the time in Insane. That's just because Insane's a more polished game. Oh, my... The PS5 thing isn't showing. I just realized that. Hold on, let me, uh... Yeah, it turns out for this thing on github the controller inputs only work if um if the actual controller is plugged in great gate i don't know if you guys relate to this but there's but like i made a promise to myself i might follow up on it until i get sponsored by them you will never catch me unironically drinking g fuel like that it's the second level of the video and i already missed one box I'm trying to see for what I missed, because this happened way too much already. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot hates the environment. Mother! Imagine dying and then like, you just, and then like realizing that a picture of your face is just sitting there. And you're like, yo, I could have low-key survived if I picked up that picture of my face. That's actually terrifying now that I think about it. Billionaires would just print out billions of photos of their face so they can rule the world forever. <laughs> Making billionaires sound like evil f gods gods of pain and misery to every other american that is in the one percent man if only crash didn't move around like a fucking brick i'm really analyzing there goes my aku i'm really trying my hardest to remember where that crate is o or not i don't want to do this no more this one with the i didn't even i kept did I know that was there last time I played this? Or did I just immediately started rushing? Yo, low key, I have like two assignments right now that are worth a hundred points on my English and history class. And I'm like procrastinating them like crazy. I had like all week to work on them and I've just been doing nothing but watch uh, Polar Solace Rex and like Instagram reels and sh Can't If I don't do these assignments, my grades in those classes are going to tank. If I'm being dead ass, you guys, like my procrastination issues are actually fucking horrible right now. They have the worst they've ever been. In in this crash series, it's like I I I'm doing it not because somebody else is doing it or anything, which everybody has fucking done this at this point. I'm doing it. Hold on, I'm, this is really scary. I'm doing it because th this is meant to help me stop that habit of being a procrastinator and it, it's kind of working like i am working on stuff but like it's like i'm not doing it correctly you know what i mean i hate in crash bandicoot these small jumps that you have to do especially in crash one with crash being so like um heavy in this game like his physics you feel like you're gonna overshoot a lot of jumps and that's results in a lot of anxiety while playing this game. That for that somehow I was able to overcome when I played the game on the PS3, but now, like, man, this game is so anxiety-inducing. <laughs> no, my Aku crate, bro. I should have just waited. One of these has nitrous. Extra life? Yep. But too late. Exactly, that's why you don't fing go for that sh. Nailed it. Mm -mm. What? Okay. Mmm, I hate. I hate when, like, you jump down slopes, man. It's so. It's, it's just unfortunate. It's just a case of this game being uh, a little outdated. It is It is the first ever 3D platformer, after all. Oh my god, is that a cool. Is that a cool? Oh yeah. Oh! Take me to the blue gem. If we're in an Aku Aku mask. Yeah, sh sh get your ugly ass out of here, Brio. Cortex. I need to stop mixing up their names. That's so... That must be so annoying for, like, people who are, like, really dedicated to this franchise. And, like, they know f***ing every single part of the very deep and complex intellectual lore of Crash Bandicoot. I love... Lot Where the f***? What did I miss? This is bullshit, bro. Wait. 
It's fine. Man, if you spin with Crash mid, like, run, you really gotta stop yourself before Crash f***ing dopes off to another dimension. Huh. <sighs> Jesus. Is there, is there anything else? I'm so confused right now. Is it actually those TNTs or am I just legitimately missing for... It was the TNT. I have to watch those explode. Wow. <laughs> Man, if only the hog didn't control, like, absolute piss. Oh, yeah, no, this is where shit gets really annoying. Mm. Shit gets so annoying here. You have no idea. Okay, do not miss that crate. Okay, the Ensign Trilogy version of this soundtrack is so much more frantic. I love it. I didn't get it. I got it now. I, I don't know why I have to cycle through every single gem, but... All right, I'll take it. Wait, did I already do this level? I don't know what's happening. Or no, I didn't do this one. I did, this is, the other one was the Great Gate. This is Native Fortress 2. If Bandicoots go extinct, would anybody care? Because literally, I guess the only Bandicoot people care about is this f***ing orange fox looking motherfucker. I think everybody looking at Crash First Glance, at, everybody thought he was a fox. Don't f***ing, don't try to say, oh, I knew he was a Bandicoot because I knew where, what Bandicoots were in my school. Motherfucker, did they not teach you about bandicoots? They taught you about like dolphins or some sh**. Every single person who is watching this video or every single gamer has thought thought Crash Bandicoot was a fox before he was confirmed a bandicoot by just realizing that bandicoots are real animals. Or unless you watch the ad from like the 90s, but even if you're you're in your 30s by the time you watch those ads, so what the f are you doing watching me you pervert i'm not up for diddy collaborations i'm on the personal belief that sour food is just horrible to eat it just doesn't feel good oh my god is that a white person saying that uh sour salty no shut up if i ever get a different if i ever get uh, a second webcam i'm gonna do the thing that pewdiepie does and i'm gonna have a putt and i'm gonna have a, a camera i'm gonna have a little chair right next to me i'm gonna move the webcam up down a bit move a little wet uh and i'm gonna have a baby bella cam because Bella deserves it because she's the ugliest f***ing creature on all the planet. My f***ing Aku Aku, you piece of garbage. Mm. Mm. Oh my f***ing gosh. I gotta redo the whole level. And I know what you guys are gonna be asking. You're playing on an emulator, just uh, safe state. And the thing is, I would, but like, why the f*** would I safe state Crash Bandicoot? Let's be real here. Let's, let's, let's be f***ing real here crash is not that hard to the point where you need to be safe stating just can redo the level you fucking cheaters as an avid user of a uh, safe states myself but but specifically in like older nes games because i don't have the patience to do with the 1980s arcade uh arcadic um game style like punch out or contra the problem with me is that there's so many games i know for a fact i would be decent at but they just straight up do not interest me or it's too late for me to get into them and i just feel like fucking like charlie from smiling friends i would just feel like him at that one point it's like ooh, what the f what the what the hell are you doing here you're so old go back to your family man go back to your wife i'll be i'll be feeling like that like if i got into uncharted in 2024 dog i would be called unk for getting into uncharted like oh my god they don't know they don't know the prime days of uh uncharted 4 it's like Fucking my bad, man. Jesus. They don't know Last of Us like I know Last of Us. Okay. That still doesn't mean I still can't play the fucking game, you twerp. Man, this level is long as fuck. I did not expect this level to be so, like, painfully long. Mmm. Yum. 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 Y um, pepper yummy. Ooh. <laughs> if you guys don't get that reference, basically there's like this middle-aged white man doing like that one anime TikTok uh, dance that was like really trending back in like 26, 2019 with, I think it's called Two Foot Hon or something. And he does that, but he's wearing Miles Morales in, but he's wearing a Miles Morales uh, costume while doing that with his glasses on, full beard and everything, talking like a little kid and just reacting to people gifting him for... What? <laughs> pepper yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Ice cream good. Mmm. Mm. Pepper yucky. And he does that for hours. Personally, you would you would catch me on 
fucking r slash nsfl before you see me humiliating myself in public like that my self-esteem does not need to go lower money's money i guess what whatever pays the whatever pays the rent but at the same time you gotta at least have some form of dignity or something it's like uh it's like what my brother says like he wants to do he wants to like basically exploit like the new meta of tiktok and make like sh 11 labs text to speech fake chat gpt reddit stories with like copyright free minecraft of uh, for money because low key bro fiends for money like i do and I, and I said like yeah go for it because but even though i am very critical when it like i'm not gonna pretend i'm a i'm a god at like understanding the internet right but i am very extremely critical of where the internet's heading towards nowadays especially YouTube and Twitter. That's where I start going into like five hour rants in like, I start pulling up evidence and shit. Like I'm a fucking, like I'm in, like I'm in debate class, but I'm not Donald Trump who talks about Springfield or they're eating the dogs. They're, they're eating the dogs. They're eating the pets. They're eating the cats. I still cannot believe he said that shit. He really thought, he really thought he cooked. That motherfucker is cooked. I'm convinced that all conservatives are just like, actually like fully retarded. There's no way they're functional human beings. Like, there's no way. The only exception is my dad. That's because he's my dad. I just have personal bias. But even if, I can admit that some of his opinions and some of his takes are downright fucking disgusting. But I can't really go into that because privacy reasons. But the only thing I'll say here is that he still believes Michael Jackson's a pedophile. I think I think that alone can tell you who my dad is. And, he, oh, and he's also a he's also Gen X born in 1980, so that's also another thing. So, for you leftists, liberals out there, I think that can tell you what type of person my dad is. Oh god. Aku aku. Oh my god. Okay. I will not f this up like last time. Ah. 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 Yeah, this is what I was talking about. There's an extra box up here. <clears throat> oh, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> I don't care about the... Do I just jump down? I'll just fall? O okay, that, that works. Yeah. I'm not exactly the most political, but I do know some sh Like, I am a socialist, but that's pretty much it. I... Nobody wants to come to hear that though. If and if you and if you unsubscribed at this point, I don't blame you. It's it's fine. I get it. Let's go, man. There are two categories of Crash Bandicoot players or just platformer gamers in general. You have one type that uh, hold on. You have one type that really um just like likes to play the game because you know it's a platformer. I love platformers. And then you have the other type, which is like me, who they'll unfortunately try their hardest to master. Not just the game, but the entire franchise. And I feel like... Excuse me. Oh no, that one takes her back, I remember. Puzzle time. Let's see what we do here. Crap. Oh. Alright. Playing f***ing Castlevania ass. Goddamn puzzles over here. Let's go. All right, let's get back to on this sh man. The bridge levels are so much easier. Like when once you know that you can run against the the broken woods, you just run through them. You don't have to manually jump through each one and be scared. It's so comforting when you're not doing bullshit like that. When you're not trying to fucking speed run levels like a maniac and just play the game okay not okay f this game is bullshit, dude wow really really oh my god man these fucking 90s games got people got me tweaking sometimes gem yummy not gem yucky <laughs> what am i is my drawer open it is gem yummy yeah no this one got you uh, a key i need to yeah uh, i need to get the gem on those two levels don't i god these levels in the ps1 version are so stressful i need a lot hold on i need to set up for this let's lock the f in go oh my god all right man naughty dog really knew what they what they were doing with this game man like they wanted you to know how stressful this sh was and still is to this day i go be these are some of the most stressful levels in 
Crash! I'm trying I'm trying I'm, tr I'm trying to use the spin advantage. Because for some reason spinning makes it go faster in Spin! Spin! We're spinning! We're spinning! We're spinning! Oh my f you. I wonder if it's actually possible to beat, um, what's her name? Ellie from Uncharted or something? I forgot her name. I wonder if it's possible to beat her score in Crash Bandicoot in Uncharted 4. No, but like the act, like while well, Nathan's playing, not when their kid is playing. Well, I don't have, what do you mean I don't have the purple gem? What do you mean? What? That was way easier than I remember it being. Unless I missed one box. Of course I didn't, because I'm the GOAT. Even though I missed like one box like five times already or something. <sighs> yeah, I legitimately do not have the purple one. Is this the one with the back? No. Alright. That's fumbling in the dark. <laughs> oh my god, I barely made that thank you spin. Oh man, hey, hey, no, come back. Come back. Man, PS1 games, man, they had like, when they, they, their art styles are so unique that like, for horror and stuff in like situations like this, it's, it, it unironically works like a lot. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks? Does this give you the purple gem? It does. All right. That means now I gotta go back and get that gem. I just realized why isn't that sounding the insane version? Like the weird what the, what instrument is that? It sounds like a brown horn or something. The thing that Jimmy uses in his super and stick of truth. Tim, uh, Jimmy, not Timmy. Might as well get the wumper fruit here just to take a break for a bit. Or having to go back and go kill motherfuckers. <laughs> I am not. Crash goes kill. Why did I say that? Crash does not kill motherfuckers. Crash Bandicoot's actually um a payday to assassin or some. Shit. He might be Agent Forty Seven Chat. Which, by the way, speaking of Agent Forty Seven, I know Hitman games are popular and all that. Well, I feel like I would unironically suck ass at those games because I because the thing is I can do strategy and all that. But the problem is with like games like that, where like you're in very stressful situations, I feel like I would I would uh bomb rush it. Like I'll try to rush and speed run Hitman, which is not the intent at all. That's 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 why my brother plays this because he's some he somehow adapts his his bomb rush um heads on play style to fucking Hitman somehow. Like the slowest game of all time. Look at the Brio and Cortex pictures. Jesus. Beep, beep, beep. And the thing is, it does actually say 100% complete, but the problem is we're technically not done because we still gotta kill Cortex. Not kill him, what the f*** am I- Crash does not kill people. We got to defeat Cortex, then get the other ending, then play Stormy Ascent, and then we're done. So let me go kill- let me, let me go defeat Cortex. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot! Imagine if Cortex still sounded like Brendan O'Brien. Done, Crash Bandicoot! Ha ha ha! Ha! Why are you laughing? You just got hit, you f***ing retard. You mog. I'm like Zesty Jesus. Oh, sh**. Which, by the way, Zessie Jesus is unironically one of my favorite creators right now. Um, actually, he's very problematic, and he's too angry, and he's toxic, and he said the N-word on Twitter. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Like, unironically, this is a good fight, though. Like, I'm being deadass. Excuse me, you f***ing dumbass bandicoot. Hit the green sh** when I tell you to. Okay, thanks, Saku. And he, he'll just shoot a green one, like, immediately after, and he's done. How did he bag Tana? If I'm not mistaken, isn't Tana with, um... 
I gotta, I gotta actually wait through this. Isn't Tana like um with pinstripe now? What the f crash? Come on, my 28 year old video game, can you work? Thank you. Yeah, this one doesn't have a cutscene. It's just his victory animation, and then they just fly. And the people call this like the true ending, but the problem is this isn't the true ending at all. Because this this sh does not happen in Crash 2. But I think the only good thing you get out of this is just like you just see the character endings, like what they do. It's a, I wish more games did that. Like that's awesome. Like with Papu Papu here, which I, it's too late for me to to read it out now. After intense therapy and eight years of higher education, Dr. Rue went on to write the well-received book Th Through the Eyes of the Vortex, a study of rapid evolution and its consequences. Good for him. And you fight him in Crash 2. Kuala Kong moved to Hollywood and landed a motion picture deal with universal pro pro proportions. Currently, he's working with a the speech therapist to improve his diction. Oh, I get it. Yep. All right. It's like purposely spelled that way. Pinstar moved to Chicago, where he now owns and operates a citywide sanitation company. He is saving money for his upcoming gubernatorial campaign. Does any of this, like, actually happen? After the disappearance of his mentor, Doc Dr. Nitrous Brio rediscovered his first love. Tending bar. Tending bar. Tending bar? Tending bar? The world has heard nothing more of Cortex since Crash foiled his plans, but evil geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. So let so let's just loop his animations. And it just ends off like that. Crash Bandicoot, period, period, period. Created and developed by Naughty Dog. I feel like... Okay, I've been, I've been thinking about this for a while, and I'm sure they're able to pull off. I feel like if... Microsoft was able to land a deal with Naughty Dog somehow. I feel like Naughty Dog would make a really good Crash Bandicoot 5, considering that the Crash 5 we were going to get got cancelled. But if they went up to Naughty Dog and they're like, Hey, want to develop another Crash Bandicoot game? And they say yes. I I'm I will, I will be optimistic to see what they do, because, you know, they did create Crash 1, 2, and 3 and CTR, which are some of the greatest video games ever made. I feel like... If Naughty Dog had the chance to, I feel like they would happily want to work on a new Crash game. Crash is like their baby that they've ab abandoned for a, a lot of a lot of years <laughs> because you know Crash wasn't owned by Naughty Dog; it was owned by Universal Studios, and then it was owned by Syria, and then it was owned by Activision, and then it was owned by THQ. What the f was up with this damn goddamn IP? Yeah, Russian Priest Brian O'Brien. In memory of Tay Min Kim, which I still don't know who that is. But in memory of him, I guess, it's been like, how long? 30 years. Well, that's enough of that. So, um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You don't have to. I'm not forcing you to understand if you don't want to. Follow the socials listed on screen. But yeah, that's, that's going to be it, man. Um, yeah, bye.